Hi everybody, this is Brittany from Teach Me ABA and on today's video we're going to go ahead and we're going to be discussing our continued series on Task List 5 for those individuals that are studying for the BCBA exam, like myself. So let's get into it. So C-5, we're going to be talking about measuring the form and the strength of a behavior. So as previously discussed, we've been talking about behaviors and specifically when they occur. Uh, but this isn't the only way that we can look at a behavior and collect data on it. So some behaviors need to be measured in terms of their form. Uh, this can also be topography or intensity, uh, but within ABA we also call intensity the magnitude of a behavior. So first off, let's talk about topography. So this is defined as the physical shape or form of your target behavior. This is then transferable into a quantifiable measure, and that's based on how the responses can be differentiated from one another. So when we talk about responses, we're talking about different topographies, um, but ultimately we're talking about them serving the same function. So if you remember, um, or you're new to ABA, uh, function is just a reason for why behavior occurs. Responses can have different topographies, but ultimately they serve the same function, meaning that they all lead to the same outcome. So for example, there are an infinite number of ways to write the word stop, but the response for whoever reads this word will remain the same across all individuals in many settings. So each individual who comes across the word printed in a large sign is going to stop. So in this instance, we may measure the form of the writing, um, the size of the lettering. Um, another example is in terms of its performance. Um, when we talk about topography, we can talk about the performance of a gymnast, right? They need near close to perfect form in order to compete in the Olympics. So the behavior may be measured by the foot placement when she lands her flip. Um, her foot placement could have many different topographies, but only one that's going to get her that perfect score in the competition. Let's move on to magnitude. So this is defined as the measurement of a behavior in terms of its force or intensity of that particular response. So behaviors that occur within a certain standard, um, let's say we're talking about the intensity or the force, will produce the desired outcome. So for example, let's say we have a person that needs enough strength to turn a door handle to open a door. So when it comes to clinical implementation of magnitude, it can be used for measuring severe behaviors such as aggression. So aggression can then cause bruising or even worse, even though I know we don't like to see that with our clients, but that's again why we're here to help. Uh, it would be much more concerning to have that lower magnitude of that aggression so that it doesn't result in tissue damage. Okay, so today we've covered C-5, which is measuring the form and the strength of a behavior. We've talked about intensity, topography, we've talked about magnitude, and I've given you two brief examples. So of course, if you have any questions, please comment them down below. As always, please like, share, and comment, and happy studying out there. <laughs>